module 3, lesson 5, we're now going to subtract fractions. So we're going to take the same exact method that we used for addition, and we're now going to use it for subtraction. So we have 1 3rd minus 1 4th, and we're going to rewrite them. We're going to come up with our common denominator like we did before. I'll show some examples again. We list our multiples. And then we list our multiples of our other denominator. Listing the multiples of these denominators. We see that 12 is the least common multiple. So we make our 12 out here. And we ask ourselves three times what is 12, and it's 4. And then we ask ourselves four times what is 12, and we know it's 4 times 3. And now instead of adding, we just subtract. So 4 twelfths minus 3 twelfths is 1 twelfth. I apologize, the smart board is writing strange, so there's the 1 twelfth. Next, we have 1 half minus 1 fifth. We find our common denominator by using our multiples, and we know it's 10. Then we go and we figure out 2 times what is 10, so 2 times 5 is 10. 1 times 5 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10, and 1 times 2 is 2. And when we subtract 5 tenths minus 2 tenths, we get 3 tenths. We just have to make sure we're paying attention to the subtraction. We have 2 thirds minus 1 fourth. 3 and 4 again, so we know we're working with 12. 3 times 4 is 12, so 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12, and 1 times 3 is 3. So then we have 8 twelfths minus 3 twelfths, which is 5 twelfths. 1 half minus 2 sevenths. When I look at these two, I know my common denominator is now 14. So it's times 7, times 7, and this is times 2, times 2. And when we do 7 fourteenths minus 4 fourteenths, we end up with 3 fourteenths. 4 fifths minus 2 thirds. We're going to rewrite vertically. We look through these two, and we know that 5 times 3 is 15. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times 5 is 10. 12 fifteenths minus 10 fifteenths is 2 fifteenths. We just did 1 third minus 1 fourth on the other page, so we'll do 2 thirds minus 1 half. The common denominator is 6. This is times 2, so we must do times 2, and we get 4, and times 3, and times 3, and we get 3, and we end up with 1 sixth. And that is how we subtract fractions.